now. I am Frere Wong of the Sons of Palawa. You have won this battle, and I call for parley. You brutalized our keepings. Tell us why our wives and children weep, so that this feud may be honorable. Your battle droids had data I required. Then, you fight for resources. There are worse causes. 
We know about the Empire's expedition. Whatever you're after, you won't find it. The desert protects its own. And though we can't keep you from departing, beware Tatooine, and beware our vengeance. You've made an enemy today. Vengeance can wait. For now, we can part in peace. Go. We have injured to tend to, and graves to dig. We'll meet again soon enough. You're good to go.
Can we talk for a second? I really don't have a good feeling about this. Walking into a demon's lair, not your idea of fun. Sorry, I just have an irrational aversion to attacking monsters that can swallow me whole. I'm thinking, if the Jedi perform the demon blood ritual without a fight, there must be a way we can too. As a favor to me, could we please get through this without mixing it up with the sand demon? We'll see that. I'll try. That's all I ask. Thank you. Looks like it's showtime. The monsters caught a whiff of us. I'm ready to back you up if it goes badly. I yield to you, demon. bathe in it, I would have waited outside. And the smell. Oh, Kag, we're gonna stink for days. Ugh, what if it never wears off? It will be all right, Vet. I sure hope you're right. I take a lot of pride in my hygiene. So, let's get out of the stink pit, huh? Calm yourself, Vet. Okay, I'm trying.
I trailed and observed your descent here. I could not believe my eyes. The Sand People all ran from you. What transpired inside the Sand Demon Cave that makes this so? It was an epic battle, and I killed the beast. You have bathed in the demon's blood. Its essence fills the air. Now, Isabeau said that this is where your path will be illuminated. But there doesn't seem to be anything here. Wait! On your guard, Offworlder. One of the Sand People approaches. I'll take that. I've never seen one of the Sand People approach an outsider in peace. This parchment the Sand Person brought is remarkable. It is a crude but very clear map of the desert. It marks a door carved into the wall of the Desert Wound Ravine. But I've mapped this ravine and there is no such door. If this is where the Padawan went, I must follow. I shudder to think what awaits you there. The ravine marks the farthest I or anyone I know of has dared venture. Here are the coordinates. I will follow stealthed, using the dune's shadows. Think first of your own safety and do not follow if it becomes too harrowing. Your concern is appreciated. Darth Barris enlisted my services to be scout and lookout, and I intend to do my job. Head deeper into the desert, and you will find the Desert Wound Ravine. Safe journey.
This is either a mirage or a trap set by a nasty underwater monster. Try not to blink. Soak in what true power looks like. I am the embodiment of your true potential. I am what you could be if you had the guts to follow the dark path more faithfully. I knew I was good looking, but this is ridiculous. Vanity becomes you. But your looks will do you no good unless you heed my words. Cease your merciful tendencies and embrace the full meaning of the dark side of the Force, or you will be destroyed. Exactly how will I be destroyed? There are any number of disasters you are flirting with. You are Sith. You walk among Sith. The stench of the light in you will be like rot in their nostrils. Darth Barris will smell it on you, and will strike you down without mercy. You may be right. Deep down, you've known it all along. This Padwan can destroy Barris. He has foreseen it. What if you can seduce her? Claim this Padwan for yourself, corrupt her to the dark, control her, and add her power to yours. A master of the dark side could turn this Padawan. And then you can destroy Barris and claim everything he has. I think there is merit to what you say. Good. Embrace your dark destiny. Reverse the path you've been walking. Yes. I dedicate myself to darkness. Excellent. I commune with you now and deliver you to the purity of the dark. Yes, you have opened yourself to your true destiny. Now we are one. In the clarity of this communion, a vision of our destiny on Tatooine appears. Can you see it too? An encampment hidden in the farthest reaches of the desert, past a rock formation called the Forbidden Pass. Is this where I will find the Jedi Master Yornlok? There is no doubt this is where the Padawan went. This is where the great master helped her powers become expressed. The image fades. Find the Forbidden Pass and confront Master Yornluck beyond it. Our journey on this planet ends there. Farewell. I cannot believe what I just witnessed! Did you just tell yourself to venture beyond the Forbidden Pass? Tell me everything you know about this place. I am chilled to the bone. The desert beyond the Forbidden Pass is an area that no one can survive. No one! Even the Sand People dare not go. You mustn't go! Your concern for me is unnecessary. This is not some silly superstition. Those who go beyond the Forbidden Pass are never seen again. I will not. I cannot follow you there. Just tell me where to go. With a heavy heart, I give you the location of the Forbidden Pass. I am shamed that my cowardice paralyzes me. I fear I will never see you again. I'll be fine. I don't plan on dying in this desert. If you plan to cross the Forbidden Pass, that is exactly what you are doing.
You're good to go. Thank <laughs> you. 
Master Yunlock, the Sith you've been tracking is upon us. Retreat to safety. I will take the intruder on. No, Yu Li. Control your feelings. Stand at my side. I will face this trespasser. Come no farther, Sith. I have been aware of your pilgrimage here. You are a fascinating and contradictory example of your order. I know why you've come. Master Nomenkar's Padawan threatens you somehow. You seek to flush her into the open and silence her. You've figured it out. I will not allow it. It won't be the cause of her exposure. She came to me for guidance, and the bond we struck was the most profound of my life. We are psychically linked, she and I, and I have already warned her about you. She will not fall for your manipulations. I assure you, I can be very convincing. Your will may be great, but hers is greater, and mine is unrelenting. The disparity in our capabilities is equal to the disparity in our age. You cannot win. Turn away now. I'll remain here until I kick sand on your corpse. Now it is clear to me you cannot be redeemed. In me you face a full Jedi Master, and Yu Li has greater command of lightsaber combat than any Jedi Knight I've trained. Uh, <clears throat> color me nervous. Have we ever faced a full-fledged, card-carrying Jedi Master before? The Jedi have no idea how lethal you are, Vet. I sense that's a bluff, but no matter. Your compatriot's query is moot as you will be facing us on your own. Well done, Master Yonlock. Now please, retreat and let me face the Sith. Your concern is appreciated, Yu Li, but I did not seize the advantage here to immediately relinquish it. I tire of all this chatter. Time for you to die. Give no quarter, you Lee. We fight to defend Norman Kai's Padawan.
Hold your weapon, Sith. I beg you. Yu Li, stay your tongue. No. She is just a Padawan. You are a great master. I must bargain for your life. Sith, I'll tell you everything I know, if you spare Master Yunlock. Your devotion is remarkable. I'm sorry, Master Yunlock. But I must do this. Her name is Jaisa Wilson. And Noman Carr has taken her to... Yu Li, you have no recollection of the Padawan this Sith seeks. I have no recollection of the Padawan this Sith seeks. Now, sleep. I do not relish wiping Yu Li's mind like that, but his feelings for me got the better of him. Most impressive. It is a terrible thing, a last resort. I had to act for the greater good. Jaisa is special, her power unprecedented. If untouched by the likes of you, she has the potential to lead the Jedi to greatness. You've already failed, old man. You know Jaisa's name, but that is all you'll get here. So you may as well kill me. I must find tranquility, so Jaisa will sense only peace when you strike me down. I'll grant you that allowance. Just tell me when you're ready. You are a surprise, Sith. But if you think allowing me to find peace will make Jaisa susceptible to you, you are mistaken.
There is no death. There is the Force. I am ready now. I changed my mind. I won't be the cause of your death, old man. I... I am beside myself. I've misjudged you. You only mean to send Jasa a message. Because of the link we share, Jasa knows what transpired here. Your message has been received. She will do with it what she will. That's all I ask. Goodbye, then. Goodbye, Sith. You've left me with much to ponder. Well, the rumors are true. Being paralyzed is a blast. You put on quite a show. I knew you were good, but, uh... Hope you enjoyed yourself? Not at all. It was infuriating not being able to wipe the sweat dripping from my nose. So, Sharik said she'd be at the ship. She thought we were done for. Can't wait to see the look on her face. She will be surprised to see us. I'll practice my smug look on the way there. 